So, uh, I just recorded this. Audio was shitty for some reason, so. Anyways, uh, what do I pick up? I don't even remember where I left off. I think it was about how I got, uh, I heard back from Dep Action Request that I got air crew position after two business days. Uh, so now I was at my recruiters today. I'm doing my laundry right now, so. I'm just gonna do this in my truck. Anyways, went to my recruiter's office today doing the regular depth stuff, going in, checking in, saying, hey, I didn't get arrested, haven't been hospitalized, but I still wanna be in the Navy, and I haven't done drugs. You sign all this paperwork, you do some stuff with them. Um, here's what I do wanna talk about it's about the type of power that you have while in depth. And, and before you go in. I think this is probably the last time that uh, a recruit is gonna have power uh, with the Navy for, you know, um, unless you get higher ranking, stuff like that. But right now, with the type of rate that you want, you have the power. So most advice out there is saying, hey, don't sign a contract unless it's for a career that you want. And I totally agree with that. I didn't necessarily do that when I went. I wanted corpsman, they didn't offer me corpsman. Uh, I ended up signing for STG, sonar, surface sonar, with the ATF, or ATE, or AEF, I don't remember what it was. Anyways, that's what I signed up because I thought, okay, of everything that they showed me, that would be the coolest thing and I would probably enjoy doing it the most. And I'm really glad that I did. And I picked it because it was a ship date that was a long ways away and I figured it would give me the most opportunity to get in that depth action request and get the rate that I wanted. Uh, and if I, I got that far and I didn't get that job, I'd still be happy with doing that. And that's probably the best advice to get is say, hey, go with the job that you think you could do happily and be comfortable with doing it for a while, especially if you want to make a career out of it, and uh, put in that depth action request, especially if the ship date's farther out. You know, if it's two weeks from them, good luck, man. You know what? I probably wouldn't do it, but I had a, I had like six months, so I was almost guaranteed that a position would open up in a rate that I wanted, and it did. I got air crew. Super cool. And since then, I know people that got HM, and uh, most likely, I probably could have slipped into an HM slot if that's really what I wanted to do. Anyways, didn't hear back from the age waiver for HM ATF, which is fine. Uh, they believe that I'm just, the age, uh, the gap is too far, uh, which is understandable. But while I was at my recruiter today, I just casually said, well, how about an age waiver for AIR air crew, uh, rescue swimmer and stuff like that? Because I knew the age was a little bit older. And he was like, shit, man. Yeah, let me call my guy. So he called up the spec war guy and said, would you entertain having an older, you know, an age waiver person uh, who is physically in shape and can swim. Uh, ASVAB scores were there, you know, depth perception, make sure the depth perception is really good. Uh, and they were like, yeah. So now what I have to do is pass the PRT for rescue swimmer essentially. And uh, which is gonna be more than, than conventional military. Uh, and I have to do that before I go to basic. Uh, so really that's what gets me the into AIR. And that's kind of tricky uh, because one, they're not doing PRT right now. Uh, Navy has canceled all that because of coronavirus. Two to that problem is no gyms are open, no pools are open. Training's gonna be a pain in the ass. Essentially, I'm stuck with doing cardio. And fortunately, at the fire department, I have uh, lots of equipment available to me, including a rowing machine, which is probably good. I should probably get on that a little bit more. Swimming, you know, it's obviously a huge part of it, and I won't be able to do a lot of swimming. So, um, I don't know. We'll we'll see how that works out. Uh, I'm gonna try and get in a pool somehow. Here in Western North Carolina, we got a bunch of lakes. 
I'm sure I can get out there and do some swimming and, and try and train as best I can. And so, but anyways, uh, so yeah, you have some power in in depth. You know, ask your recruiter questions. If you've got a month, two months, something like that, and you're not exactly sold on the rate that you signed on, maybe because they pressured you into getting it, or you just really wanted to sign a contract, or they they were like, how about all these bonuses? You'll get a bonus if you get this instead. And you signed it, and you didn't sign for the thing that you wanted exactly. Um, talk to your recruiter right now. You know, if you're in debt, just be like, look, I want to change the rate that I'm in. Let's try and get that paperwork in today. And uh, I guarantee you, it'll, I don't guarantee you. I don't know. I, it happened to me, and I know it happened to a few other people that I've checked on, like, the forums and Reddit and stuff like that that uh, they were able to change their rate uh, pretty quickly. It happened, you know, within a week, two weeks, something like that. So definitely do that. You have power now. You might as well use it because I can imagine that once you get into the Navy and you get through basic and you're in A school, fuck, dude, you're in A school. You were there. This is your career now. And you get out and you can cross rate if you want to, I think, after two years. And uh, But why... why Put yourself through that miserable two years if that's not the rate that you want so definitely take the opportunity take the time do the research uh check the manning on the certain rates that you want you know it's, it's more or less the beginning to middle of the month in march right now or, or april sorry and then you know they're pretty quick to come out with the uh the manning on a uh, on, on, you know, rates, military, uh, first or first week of the month. And so you can get a snapshot of what it was last month and be like, oh, well, shit, they're really low here. And this is a career that I would like more than what I'm in now. Let me go ahead and put in a DAR for that. And most likely uh, you'll get it. So, you know, you, you got some power. Definitely uh, um, use it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. I'm glad I did this video again. This is a little bit more concise and to the point. But I'm going to keep doing little updates here. Uh, at this point, I haven't even put out a single video. I really just want to dump a whole bunch of them out. That way people can watch them in a row and, and see the progression pretty quickly. Because uh, real time is real separated. I'm doing a video every other week or whatever. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go finish my laundry. I think I'm... I'm under 10 minutes here, so I'm doing better. Uh, cool. Later.